Connecticut and different places. Well, I see the paid sick leave bill to be a mandate, not so much only on employers and businesses, but also on employees and their families as well, and to some extent on the community. Because when employers are no longer able to employ people, then employees will be on the unemployment line. They will be collecting funds from the state of Connecticut. They will not be able to go out and spend their money in restaurants, also in malls to shop, and they will have to go to hospitals and Medicaid and Medicare will have to pay for them. Therefore, it will be also a mandate on the state of Connecticut itself and also an expenditure on the state of Connecticut. Employers are in the business to employ people and we restrict their ability to employ people and continue to put one mandate after another, after another on employers, it's going to be hindering them from growing right here in Connecticut and essentially it's going to either chase them away from the state of Connecticut or they will be closing their doors altogether. Okay, now you're a manufacturer and you're a legislator, so what do you say to business people? You're up here, you're working up here. What's, ha what's happening behind the scenes that they need to know about and what can they do to help? Well, business people should be aware of one simple fact. Just yesterday, I received in the mail for the small company that I work for, our merit rating for unemployment. At one time, our rating used to be 0.89. It was very, very low. And the one that we received yesterday is 5.0. Uh, to no fault of myself or to the company I work for, but because of unemployment continue to increase in the state of Connecticut, and therefore now we are being taxed by 1.4% extra that is called from tax rate. So this is going to continue and at the end of 2010 the federal government is going to impose more um, more modification on employers because the state of Connecticut continue to borrow money from the federal government to support unemployment compensation. So now instead of putting more people out of work by putting more mandates on employers we should be cutting their taxes inducing them to hire more employees and enhancing their ability to do business in the state of Connecticut. So my advice to employers is to have their employees call their state representatives and their senators, both Democrats and Republicans, and urge them to vote against mandates, especially the paid sick leave bill and other bills that are hindering uh, our employers from being able to compete in the marketplace.